let's talk about the different units of length. The standard unit of length is the meter. Now, there are other units of length that you've heard of, such as the kilometer. There's centimeters, millimeters. There's yards, feet, inches, and even miles. So all of these are different ways of describing the length of something or the distance between two points. Now, let's talk about the relative sizes of the meter relative to other common units. So let's say the meter is about this long. A yard is almost the length of one meter. It's about 91% of the length of a meter. So that would be a yard relative to the meter. A foot is a little bit less than one third of a meter. So relative to one meter, that's how long one foot would be. An inch is one twelfth of a foot. So that would be about an inch relative to the foot and the meter on this screen. A centimeter is one one hundredth of a meter. So one centimeter is about 1% the length of a meter. So those are the relative sizes of these different units of length relative to the meter. Now, when studying this type of concept, either in chemistry or physics, you need to be able to convert from one unit of length to another. And I have a video that explains how to do that, how to convert from one unit to another with plenty of, of examples. And I'm going to post the links to that video and other similar videos in the description section below for those of you who want more problems to work on. But here are some common units or common conversion factors you need to be familiar with. So you need to know that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. And one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. And one meter is equivalent to 1,000 millimeters. So those are some common conversions between the metric units of length. Now you can also see it this way. Whenever you see the prefix kilo, it represents 10 to the third. If you see the prefix centi, this represents 10 to the minus 2. And milli, that corresponds to 10 to the minus 3. So if you were to use the prefixes, you can write these conversion factors. 1 centimeter is equivalent to 1 times 10 to the minus 2 of the standard unit of length meters. 1 millimeter, well, that's going to be 1 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. One kilometer, it's going to be one times 10 to the positive three meters. 10 to the third, which is 10 times 10 times 10, that's a thousand. So that's basically the equivalent of this expression right here. Now let's talk about some other common conversion factors that you want to be familiar with. You need to know that there's 12 inches in a foot. And there's three feet in a yard. And one inch is equivalent to 2.54 centimeters. And you also need to know that one mile is equal to 1.609 kilometers. One mile is also equal to 5,280 feet. Now here's a question for you. How many feet are equal to one meter? And also, 
how many meters are in a foot? How would you find that? How would you figure that out? Feel free to pause the video to find the answer to that question. So first, let's convert one meter into feet. How can we convert meters to feet using the conversion factors that we have on the board? So what I would do is I would start from meters and then I would go to centimeters using this conversion factor. And from centimeters, I'm going to go to inches using this one. And once I have inches, I could use this to go to feet. So I'm going to go from meters to centimeters to inches to feet. So let's start with the value that we have, one meter. Now let's convert it to centimeters using this conversion factor. So I'm going to put meters on the bottom and the other side of the equation, 100 centimeters on top. It's always good to write it in such a way that this unit will cancel because we want to change that unit to something else. Now I'm going to use this conversion factor to go from centimeters to inches. So I'm going to put 2.54 centimeters on the bottom and one inch on the top so that we can cross out the unit centimeters. Now for the last conversion factor, which is this one, I'm going to put the 12 inches on the bottom of the last fraction. So this is going to be, I'm going to multiply by the numbers on top and divide by the numbers on the bottom. So it's going to be 100 divided by 2.54 divided by 12. So we get 3.2808. So here's another conversion factor you could write down. One meter is equal to 3.2808. 2808 feet. Now, if you want to find out how many meters are in a foot, let's divide both sides of this equation by 3.2808. So 1 divided by that number gives us this. So 1 foot is equal to 0 0.3048 meters. So remember how I mentioned that a foot is a little bit less than one third of a meter? We can see that here. So this tells us that one foot is about 30.48% of the length of a meter when you write it that way. That's why I could say that a foot is a little bit less than one third of a meter. It's because of this conversion factor. So that's basically it for this video. I want to give you the conversion factors of some common units of length that you'll encounter either in chemistry or in physics or if you're taking physical science too. And I also want you to get a visual of the relative sizes between a meter, a yard, a foot, and an inch. By the way, for those of you who want more example problems on converting from one unit to another, even converting multiple units at the same time, Feel free to check out the links in the description section below.